Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. In today's video, we're gonna keep working with MLflow runs. In the previous video, I showed you how to start a new run and how to end or finish a run. This is important because we cannot start a new run if there are active or running uh, runs, right? And we were doing that using mlflow.mrun. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you another, let's say, approach that we can use to finish a run automatically when we are not using the run anymore. And this approach is basically using the with statement or with block. Turns out that the output of mflow.startRun can be used as a context manager, which means that we can use this uh, method alongside with this, um, uh, let's say, Python tool, the with statement or the with block, to manage the contents of an mflow run. So by using a structure like this, what we are doing is ensuring that within these um, contexts, we have an active run, which is this one, the one that we are starting here. And Python will close or will finish automatically the run once um, it gets outside this context. So in this example, what I have here is that I am starting a new run, right, using the with um, statement or the with block, and I am printing the status of this particular run just to show you that it's going to be running within the run context. Here I am logging some parameters and metrics. Now, outside the context, I am doing something very similar. Um, well, not very similar. I am getting the run, right, mlflow.getRun, to get an updated version of the run object and then I am printing the status again, just to show you that it's going to be finished outside. So let me run this. And here we can see that the run status within um, the run context is running, but outside of the context is finished. And we didn't have to use mlflow.nrun in this case. And here we can see the metrics and parameters that we load within the run context. So this is a very convenient approach that we can use to manage MLflow runs. Well, that was everything for this video. Thanks for watching it and see you next time.